Thank you, Alan. The biggest chunk of damage we've seen today came in Gulf Shores. Officials say it's too early to tell, but residents there believe a tornado came through, downing trees and tearing off at least one roof from a building. Also, workers scramble to save the animals at the Gulf, the Gulf Shores Zoo. News 5's Alan Carter has more. It is truly astounding to think how much damage can occur in such little time. And I was coming to check on the buildings, and all of a sudden, just stuff starts going everywhere. Matt Lumpkin owned several buildings down Highway 59, but this one was the worst hit. It peeled it off like a tin can. I mean, it ripped it off. I, I mean, I'm speechless. It's terrible. <laughs> More water dripping inside than out. Oh, the building in the middle of becoming a flower shop. In here cleaning, getting ready to move in. New tenant Jill Cannon was about a week from opening up. It was right back here on this corner. Actually right. inside when the winds came through. We were kind of watching and, and then all of a sudden it was just on top of us just that fast. The whole building shook and we saw the piece of roof hit my mother's car. There are more down trees and signs on this section of 59 than behind the area at the Gulf Shore Zoo. All of the animals are okay but not before a quick rescue operation. They were in these cages and the cages were blown into the pond and they were in the water until we could get to them. There will need to be some assessment for officials to figure out exactly what this was. We don't know what it was. We don't know if it was a microburst. We don't know if it was a tornado. Whatever it was, it was quick, fast and strong, but not enough to dampen resolve. It's it's tough, but God has a plan. Everything happens for a reason, and it's going to come back bigger and better than it was before. In Gulf Shores, Alan Carter, News 5. Now, no deaths on the Alabama Gulf Coast.